Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're talking about Destiny 2 and Destiny 1. So if you guys want to just listen to me, because this is not going to be like a very visual video. If you guys want to just want to put me in the background and just listen, by all means do that. But essentially we're just going to be talking about how I think Destiny 1 and 2 should be combined by the end. Or I mean by the beginning of the new console generation. <clears throat> so my thought process on this is basically Destiny 1 amazing game the way it left was awesome although the special changes at the end were kind of garbage but everything else dope great loot great game fun it was just so much so much was left that was like really fucking awesome destiny 2 not gonna lie not my cup of tea it's very uh very free to play without the whole being completely free to play and uh, you know the prices are fucking ridiculous for some of the items, and this whole seasonal shits I'm not I'm not a fan of. It's just Destiny 2 has literally just been Destiny 1 vanilla to Taken King. It's literally just been up and down, with Forsaken being obviously uh, the Taken King level, but better. And then it just immediately went back to vanilla after like the seasons came out. We're just like, okay, cool. So this is like whatever, honestly. So Destiny 2, I'm not the biggest fan of. I will be the first one to tell you the fucking issues I have with this game. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you I never had fun. I love the game mostly because Destiny 1 has really just... <sighs> so obviously I'm a fan of the series. So why do I think 1 and 2 should combine together? Because... It's just assets that are not being used. Yeah, people play Destiny 1, but how amazing would it be if your Destiny 2 crew that's never played Destiny 1 could go back and play Atheon, could go back and kill Crota. That would be awesome. And it's not even like the whole like, oh, what about the timelines? Bro, we kill the same boss and strikes all the time. We kill the same raid bosses all the time. It's literally the same thing. I, I don't see an issue with it because it's just gameplay. It's not narrative, especially especially if they really want to do this whole free to play thing. You can have people start from the very beginning and then go up to Destiny 2 current. I think that would be amazing because I remember when I started in World of Warcraft, I started from the very first mission. I, I mean, I get I got a free whatever level 100 character at the time. But I wanted to start from the beginning. I wanted to see what the game had to offer. <clears throat> and sure enough, I made a, a rogue from level one to current level. And it was awesome. It was, it was tough, but it was fun. So I would love it if we would be able to go back to Destiny 1, level all our characters, and then make the jump to Destiny 2. But I do understand why they don't want to do that or can't do that. But even still, it's like, all right, I, I guess I, I, I understand why you guys don't want to combine both of them. Because in Destiny 2, we uh, lost all our shit somehow magically in the ether. But y'all are you guys are already bringing back old stuff from Destiny 1, like exotics and shit. So why not just give us everything back? Like, it would not fix. It would not fix the loot incentive at all. But, I mean, we would be grinding for old stuff that we used to have... It'd be awesome to see Destiny 1 stuff in a new, like, engine. It would be, well, not new engine, but still, like, it'd look better. It, overall, I just, I have never understood why Bungie just decided to cut Destiny 1 out and then just make a new Destiny 2, because it would have just been amazing if they just called Destiny, Destiny, and just kept upgrading it over, over, like, a good while. Kind of like, wow. I do understand that people are like, oh, but because consoles, it it's taking too much space. And I'm like, eh, is it though? Like, is it really? Because I like one game that I own is like what Call of Duty. It takes like a hundred something gigs. I don't think Destiny takes a hundred something gigs, but I'm not I don't play on console anymore. So there there goes my fucking bias. So ultimately, it'd be awesome. We could have all the our, all, all our old favorite guns come back all our and like it's not even like oh well it's it's not a negative for bungie either because i mean in their current 
way of monetizing, they could just have a literal plethora of weapons and armor. They can, they can just be like, yeah, we can just make skins off of all this shit and make some money. Because I know they would do that. I, I ultimately think that Destiny 1 and 2 combined together in a new console would be amazing. Just call it Destiny. I don't give a shit, dog. Just call it Destiny. I don't want to call it Destiny World, Destiny Universe, nothing like that. No, no World of Destiny. I don't want that shit. Just Destiny. And yeah, I, I think that would be amazing. I This is me just like speaking to the ether because I know this will never happen. Most likely will never happen. I mean, you might never know in the future, but I highly fucking doubt that they would combine Destiny 1 and 2 together. Because I actually don't even know. I I'm not a business person. I really am not. But let me tell you, man. I've talked to a lot of homies that were Destiny One veterans, and they're like, "Yeah, dog. If Destiny One and Two combined together, yeah, I'd play it. Mostly for the Destiny One part." And I'm like, "Yeah, I feel that. I really do. And I do understand like Destiny One PvP compared to Destiny Two PvP is very different. It's not the same." But I mean, at that point, wouldn't it just be awesome if you can say like, damn, like now that I really think about it, it would ch kind of change everything in the game. You can't, you wouldn't just be able to choose like, oh, let me just go from Destiny 1 PvP to Destiny 2 PvP, although it, that would be dope. But essentially, I don't know, man. I I just kind of wanted to throw that idea out there. I am i don't have the, the answers. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below, but for me, I would love it if I can just make one character that lives within Destiny 1 and 2. And that's not even hard to like say because my character's already in the lore where the young wolf, so or at least the people from Destiny 1 are real characters if I remember correctly. Yeah, 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 because we're the young wolf and you become the young wolf in the Rise of Iron DLC. So all the Destiny 1 like veterans, they're OGs, they're actual people in the fucking lore, so I don't I don't see why my like people would be like oh well no it doesn't ma it doesn't make sense because your character and the first one and the second one are the same character they are though like like in the lore they really are so I I just really want to go back to destiny 1 in destiny 2 like I would really just love to have all that shit back all our, all the planet locations all the planets like Venus oh my god guys I miss Venus and it would be awesome if they, I don't know, man, like I really would love this game to go all out MMO, different planets and all this shit. But the way they're kind of going, I don't think they are. I think they're just going to be very casual MMO. And I mean, that's cool, I guess. Like I, I personally think casuals kind of ruin a game, not because like they're horrible people, but just because of how companies become when they go for the casual market so i that's just me my opinion obviously be but if you disagree let me know in the comments below don't be an asshole but yeah that's pretty much the video I, that's all i wanted to really say like just really like let my thoughts about destiny 1 and 2 becoming a thing just really out because there's nothing happening in destiny 2 all these videos that are going to be coming out it's literally just ideas that i'm coming out from the ether because like there's just nothing there's nothing to do i don't give a shit about the donning because for first and foremost i'm not killing 45 dollars just to get all the armor for my hunter just my hunter let alone the titan and my warlock warlock so i haven't actually even turned on the game in a while because i'd rather not even tempt myself because i actually do have money right now and i don't want to spend it on 45 dollars for just one class Okay, if I'm gonna be real, it's not gonna be $45. It's gonna be like what? $33 cuz uh, I already have some pieces for my hunter, but I again $33 I okay $33 I could get some good games on Steam like some pretty actually shit if I fork over five extra dollars I can get fucking Sekiro like the game of the bro, I'm, I'm so done so <clears throat> Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think uh, Bungie merging Destiny 1 and 2 together would be a smart move? Business-wise, fan-base-wise, whatever. Let me know in the comments below. I personally would love to see it, but I do see that there are maybe some limitations behind that that Bungie just kind of don't want to tackle. And, you know, fair, 
that's fair. I just think that the consoles, like the Xbox Series X, whatever it's called, and then the PlayStation 5, they're gonna be a little bit more powerful. Uh, I'm probably gonna buy both because I have a PlayStation 4 and a Xbox One, but we'll see. I mean, ultimately I will get an Xbox, I mean a PlayStation 5 because exclusives obviously, but the Xbox Series, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if there's a point. <clears throat> And then the other thing I'm just wondering is like, what what are they gonna do with Destiny 2? Are they gonna reamp it into a new engine? Are they gonna, I don't know, like, are they just gonna copy and pasta into PlayStation 5? Hopefully not, hopefully we get something a little beefier. But this is this is like where just my head is, go is at right now. I'm kind of done with the seasons. I don't give a shit what the next season is. I'm already done, I already feel it. And that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later.